It has been three years since the campfire devastated the town of Paradise in Butte County. And now L.A. sports columnist Bill Plaschke has written a book called Paradise Found, a high school football team's rise from the ashes. And he joins us now to discuss the book. Thanks for being with us, Bill. Your book follows the Paradise High Bobcats through their first season after the fire. Talk about how the team helped in the town's healing process. It was amazing. Thank you for having me on. I'm honored to be here and I'm honored to to represent and, and tell the story of these amazing, resilient children and their coaches. They really, you know, when they started practicing after the campfire, they didn't even have a football. Everything had burned, equipment, everything was gone. They had nothing, they had no homes, they had they had nowhere to live. Uh, it was really a struggle, yet they were determined to be an anchor for the city. They're determined to be the fabric of this of this decimated community. And it, so, the, so they practiced all summer and then the, the book follows them through trying to rebuild from 101 kids to 23 kids, trying to come back. August 23rd, 2019, the first game back in paradise, 5,000 people showed up at the game. 5,000 people, displaced paradise residents, all came home again, crying, hugging, dancing, singing. And it was that way the whole season long. They really re-energized and gave rebirth to this to, the, to what, what could have been a dying town, which is now coming back. Yeah, football being the the great unifier for them, oh, they yes. really they certainly are paradise strong. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Bill, this book it tells the story of one player's flight to safety. Uh, Spencer Kiefer, he was a middle linebacker, I believe, on the team. What can you tell us about Spencer and how he escaped the flames? Yeah, he's he's one example of the toughness it was in of these kids. He was stuck in his truck by himself one month after getting his driver's license. He could barely drive. He was stuck up by himself in the middle of the fire. The police told him to pull over to to, to, to abandon the truck. He called his parents, said, Dad, I'm mom, I'm going to die. I'm dying now. Goodbye. I love you. Mm -hmm. Imagine telling that to your parents. He was uh, he was able to walk to, to, to a safe spot, eventually got back in the truck. Eight hours later, drove down through the flames, and he became one of the stars of the team. The whole team who played the season out as the residents had all fled the, the city with a toughness, with a single mindedness, with a big heart, and really, really, I, just a, I, the spirit and inspiration of these children is unbelievable. And it reflected the town. The town, you know, the town is going to survive in Paradise High football. And in a, it's an, it was a magical year. They went unbeaten during the year. It's, you go follow it in the book. And, the, and the, it was a surprise ending. And it was all because of these kids and how they, and the coaches and how they vowed to overcome and keep this city intact. It is incredible. And, you know, Bill, you could write about anything. What really compelled you to write a book about the Paradise football team? Yeah, it was it was that first practice. I went up for the L.A. Times to do a column on what kind of crazy program would try to have a season after after not having a town anymore. And when I saw him practicing in donated clothes on a scruffy field with no football, I said, this is a story. This is if they make this back, if they actually feel the team, if they actually win a game, if they actually bond in United Town, then this is a story. So that it was, it's sports as a, as a human metaphor for the human spirit, sports as the great, like you said, the great equalizer, the great fabric of our communities. It's it's like Friday Night Lights meets Unbroken, somebody said. It was, it's, an, it's an amazing story, and I was honored to tell it. And thanks so much for doing it. Once again, the book is called Paradise Found, a high school football team's rise from the ashes. Bill, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having me. You live in a great area and I love the people up there and the book that they, they shine through in the book, their toughness and their courage to overcome. Thank you.